So, this is the video you've all been waiting for. How do Targa files work? Now I'm gonna say right now I'm not an expert on lossy and lossless compression, PNG, bitmaps, uh, GIFs, TIFFs, uh, no no no, I'm no Unity Photoshop expert. So I'm just gonna give a brief rundown as to why Luxor Moonrising and stuff still use Targa files and how they work. Like for example, for one from one Google search, I found out that apparently Targa is a lossless format, so it can actually save more stuff compared to a PNG alpha channel. But let's be real, you want to know the real reason that Luxor, a moon rising, uses Targa files instead of all of these very fun but uh, complicated geeky stuff. So I'm gonna give it to you. The reason that Luxor and Luxor are Moon Rising still use Targa files is most likely because it is an old game, number one. Number two, the game can apparently, if I'm not wrong, only read JPEG files, and JPEG files do not save transparency, so we need an alpha channel format, hence Targa. Hence why you guys all have to learn Targa now, oops. Alright, let's get started. So today as we will be tackling the dreaded Targa files. Now I have Gem open, you can also use Photoshop. I highly recommend you guys not to use Paint.net. I mean you could, but it does mess up something later on with the Targa, so uh, yeah, keep in mind. There's also a tutorial link in the description in case I'm talking like way too fast and you cannot catch up. There is actually a written tutorial guide on how to use Targa files written by Villager135 on the Spear Magic forums. His method is slightly different from mine though, but uh, we get the same results, that's what I'm saying. So today we will be uh, going to Luxor Amun Rising, the data folders we extracted in episode number 2. So move to data, byte maps, games, and you should see a whole bunch of folders here. The files we'll be using today is vice.jpg, I highly recommend you make a copy, and vice alpha targa, this scary, scary looking thing. I mean, it's not that scary as of now, but uh, it does get a bit nasty looking later on. The reason I picked vice is because it's actually a really nice looking targa file, it's just a circle. And now I'll actually get into the specifics on how this works and why we need targa files. So yeah, you might be asking yourself, Konis, why do we need Targa files? Well, the thing is, in theory, you don't actually need a Targa file. If, say, your vice was just this black rectangle, you actually do not need a Targa file at all, like quite literally. So why do we need Targa files then? So the thing is, as I've already mentioned, JPEG folders, uh, they, they do not have an alpha channel. That means they do not have a transparency layer. So basically speaking, if your if your vice looks something like this, this with a very slight uh blank area at the top right, you need a targa because what Luxor Amun Rising would render it as, it would actually render it as a full rectangle. So basically, the long story short is. If the thing you're trying to insert into the game is not in a perfect square slash rectangle, you need Targa. If it needs transparency, you need Targa. But the transparency thing, I'll get into more a bit later because uh, it's a tiny bit complicated. But never, nevertheless, we're going to be making our first vice. So create a new layer. And now we will be making our very first vice. It's it's not gonna look really cool or anything, honestly. It it really shouldn't. So uh, just have your uh, pencil tool up. We're going to draw a cross. Yes, a cross. Yeah, something really, really simple looking at first. This is our new vice. Hey, okay, cat locks and we'll get lost. This will be our new vice. So how do we insert something like this into Luxor? Perhaps let me explain first. First of all, we will be flattening the image and saving it. And next up, I'm going to be opening Luxor Amun Rising. So ask yourself, how do you think the vice would look like? As soon as it loads, we'll find out. It's not going to look alright at all. In fact, it's gonna look like a weird circle, as you should soon see when it comes out here. This is how it looks like. You see there is like black things at the end, which is not what we want. It's, it's not what we want at all. 
So now, let me explain how Targa files work. You saw that even though the JPEG folder is a square, it rendered it out as a circle. So now let me explain how Targa files work. In Targa files, the black area you see right here, the black area that's being highlighted, when it's black, it stands for transparent. Now, white, on the other hand, stands for opaque, and gray, depending on how gray it is, will move its uh, layers of transparency. Let's say it is light gray, it means it is very, it is very close to opaque, but just very slightly transparent. If it's dark gray, it means it's very transparent, almost close to like it doesn't exist at all. So that is how the shades work. So how do we transfer all of this into a Targa file? So that's, this is why we have the JPEG folder up. So we simply, what we do is trace the area we want. So as I've already mentioned, the area we want to be device is this X area. So I'm just going to select this X, open up a new layer in a uh, gym or Photoshop, depending on how you want to do it. And then I'm going to paste it as white. So as you can see, this white actually is the opaque portion. So basically we're rendering just this portion, just the X. The black area you see here, that, it, that it, it's not black now, but when it saves as JPEG, since it cannot handle transparency, it will render it as black. This black area you see here will be transparent. So this is our new so quote unquote Targa file. What I like to do is I like to create the Targa like this, something like this, in the JPEG and then save it as a gym file, the XCF extension. So if anything goes wrong, I can like remake the alpha completely. So as you can see now, this is our new vice. We shall save it one more time. As you can see, the so-called quote-unquote Targa layer is hidden, but it still exists. And now as you can see, the black area, which is these transparent portions, is black in the Targa region. So what I like to do now is I like to copy it and paste it. Now this is very important. When you see this thing called floating selection pasted area, you click the rectangle select tool and just click it. You anchor it down into the background layer. How you know whether you've done this right in gym is that when you click save, it doesn't prompt you for some weird things. If it prompts you, it means you've done it wrong. What it'll do is it'll give you a prompt to re-save it as a Targa. And once that happens, what happens is that Luxor Amun Rising, due to the nature of which it codes its Targas, I think, basically, it will not render the file at all. So yes, now we got our new vice and our new Targa file. So, I hope I didn't confuse you. Our new vice should look perfectly transparent, just like this. As you can see, minus the very weird shadow which I forgot to get rid of, the X that we have rendered out is actually completely transparent. The areas that are transparent are indeed transparent. So that is the long story short on how Targa files generally work. We basically use it in Luxor Moon Rising to make JPEG, J certain portions of the JPEG files transparent because as you can see here, this black area isn't transparent at all. In fact, if you open this up using like paint or whatever, it will render this portion as black. So the Targa file basically says, all right, this white area, this you see this white, sorry, this white area over here, this, this portion is OP. Everything else, transparent, ditch it in game. So that is basically how it works. We will use this like in a lot of places. Basically, anytime you want to make any area of a Targa file, sorry, of a JPEG file transparent, we use Targa. If you want to have transparency effects, we also use Targa. And perhaps most importantly, if you want to make tunnels, we also use Targa. You see this portion right here? You see how some portions of the title is obscuring the spheres and yet others are perfectly transparent? Yes, that's Targa. And yeah, so this is basically a really, really, really basic tutorial on how Targa files work. As you can see, it's just one sprite. That's it, really. It's even a really simple shape, which is this X-looking thing. So yeah, I hope you understood and had fun with how Targa files work, because now I'm going to be re 
converting it back to normal, hopefully. And next time, we will be doing more stuff. More fancy stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And next time on How to Mod Luxor Cone Spot, we will be venturing deeper into the Targa hellhole.